Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Sticky Password Manager. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data self purchase under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start Sticky Password? How do we start using it? Well, in this case, the first thing you need to do here is you need to go to their official website, which is going to be stickypassword.com. Now, from their official website, you should be able to see two options. They have the for you or for your team. Now, you could use this as a solo application for yourself, or you could use this for your team. Now, by the way, if you go to free X Premium here, you should be able to see the plans that they offer. So, by default, they have the free plan here, which includes password security without sync any backup they want, password sharing, emergency access, or even dark web monitoring if your passwords or credentials are being used by in the dark web. Now, I also have the premium here, which is 19.99 a year. So in this case, you could also choose a lifetime uh, offer or a uh, payment. So if you want to use this for a lifetime. In this case, we want to get started here. Let's go ahead and click on get started for free at the top right here. And from here, it's going to start downloading the app itself. The top right, you should be able to see the download process. So in this case, let's just wait for it. But once it's done, let's go ahead and open it up. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we need to run the app itself. Let's go ahead and click on run. And from here, let's go ahead and click on yes, since we want to install this. In this case, let's go and choose our language. So by default, it's going to be English. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And sticky password is now being installed. Now in this case, what we need to do is we just need to click on next. From here, we have our license agreement. So you also want to agree to all the license agreement here. So make sure to read their license agreement here and make sure to accept the license agreement itself. Now, so if you want to allow the, I want to help improve the user experience by allowing anonymous usage information. So some of your anonymous data will be sent to them. So if you want to not allow this, make sure to uncheck it. And from here, click on install. Now from here, it's going to say the uh, sticky password is installed on your PC. It's going to be installing it. Let's go ahead and wait for it to finish installing. And as you can see, sticky password is now installed. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on finish and then I'll launch sticky password here. Now once you've allowed that, it should launch sticky password on your PC. So if that doesn't launch it, you could go ahead and double click on it again and see if that pops up. Now from here, this is the sticky password uh, first uh, introductory UI. So you have the welcome page here. So in this case, it's going to showcase you some of their features. So the welcome page, and uh, in this case, it's going to give you some information. Let's go ahead and click on next here. You also have the ask access to passwords whenever you need them. So it may be in secure clouds over your local Wi-Fi, and I'll sync at all. So let's go ahead and click on next. I have their sticky password account here. So in this case, we need to create our account. Let's go ahead and click on create a new account here. And we need to enter our email as well as the password that we want to use for our account. So for the password, password, make sure to remember this. And it should be at least eight characters, one numerical letter, one lowercase letter, and one uppercase letter. In this case, let's go ahead and provide all those details. And from then on, let's go ahead and create our account. Now from here, it's going to say confirm master password. In this case, let's go ahead and re-enter a password here. And you also need to agree the I understand that my master password is not stored anywhere and I'm only one who knows the master password. Now, if you forget your password here, there is no way to recover your data, which is something really unfortunate. In this case, let's go ahead and fill out the details and agree to it and just hit on continue. Down on the next page, it's going to say synchronization. So if you want to allow cloud sync, you can go ahead and just make the uh, make sure to allow this one or disable it if you want to. In this case, it's going to allow this one. Click on continue. Now in this case, it's going to say password database here. So in this case, it's going to create a database for you. We have the customization here. So in this case, if you want to already protect your accounts by scanning dark web for compromised credentials, also have to schedule automatic checks when sticky password is unlocked. Let's go ahead and click on continue here. It is suggested that you turn this on just in case that if they're comprom if your account is compromised. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Now we need to integrate the uh, app itself on our browser. Let's go and choose our browser here. I want to install this via Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and click on install now. And here it should open up the uh, page here for your browser. So it's going to say enable sticky password and Chrome. Let's go ahead and click on go to web store. And from here, it should redirect you to the web store for Chrome or the uh, web store for your browser. So in this case, it's going to be for my Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and click on add to Chrome here and click on add extension. 
Now once you've done that, it should install and download itself. And once it's actually fully installed, we should be able to go back into this page here. So first it's going to say installing, check your Google Chrome browser here. So yeah, so in this case, let's go ahead and wait for it to fully install and it should authenticate itself right now. So if you see it, you can go ahead and just right click on it and you want to pin this. So you'll be able to access it uh, later on. Now in this case, it's going to say uh, your panels are all, all set. So in this case, it's going to give you free access to the CK Password Premium here for 30 days. Uh, so you'll be able to use the Cloud Sync backup local Wi-Fi sync priority support as well as the help protect manatees option. Let's go and click on start here and you should be able to see the UI for Sticky Password. Now in this case, it's going to show you the main UI here, which in this case, the quick access, which gives you quick access to your account. So if you have those, but first let's go to web accounts here. So we have our Google Chrome here. And since our Google Chrome already saves a bunch of password that we have, it's going to show the link for it as well as the username for it. But in this case, you should also be able to basically edit a few things here. So if you click on edit here, it should show you the password itself. You want to view it. If you want to generate a different password for that, you could go ahead and do that as well. And if you want to allow automatic login, you could go ahead and do that as well. So we click on close here. Now this is for the other apps and uh, websites that we have. So if you want to add a different account, you can go and click on add account here. You should be able to add links, add comments on it. And if you want to add autofill options, uh, you should be able to add like use the default browser here, which browser you want to use. Tie account to which uh, the web address that is account uh, tied to as well. And login form if you want to def uh, uh, actually define the settings for it. Now I also have the login section, which is the login name, description of the login, as well as password for that specific login. Now, if you want to allow autom automatic login, you could go ahead and allow this one. And if you want to uh, make this, a, a, a set this to a password never expires or password expires on a specific date, but we want to set this password ex never expires. Now in this case, if you want to add that, just click on add. So just to give you an example, I want to uh, maybe add an account here. So let's just say this is going to be on fv.com. And from here, I want to add a login name. So let's just say this is going to be email at email.com. This is just an example that I want to show you. So we also have the uh, password here. So let's just say this is going to be password. And from here, you could go ahead and click on add. Now it should add that into our account. So yeah, so in this case, it's going to be uh, that. So we now have uh, fb.com here, which is email at email.com. So if you want to edit it again, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now we also have the app accounts here. So in this case, you will be able to uh, manage some app account. So if you want to add an app account here, you should be able to choose like apps that you want to uh, save credentials for. Like for example, if you want to use Microsoft Outlook uh, logins in here, you could go and choose Microsoft Outlook. You could go ahead and specify the login, description and password like what we did with the web accounts that we have. So this one is actually pretty cool because it's actually installed in your desktop and uh, you should be able to access passwords maybe on your browser or even in other apps they have. The identities here would contain your ad identity or uh, some specific identities about other people. So you click on add identity here and you should be able to uh, basically add you basically add, uh, add a description for that identity. I have the personal info section. So if you want to click on it, you should be able to add the first name, last name, gender, and any personal information. So you also have the option to add contact names like internet details. So if they have those like AOL name, Yahoo ID, Yolanda. So if you want to add like specific details about certain people that they told you to keep, even add businesses and finances. I also have the bookmark section here to so manage your uh, favorite websites uh, bookmark. So in this case, you should be able to bookmark websites if you want to uh, refer to them later on. Now, if you want to save like passwords or pass keys or certain details that are not specifically passwords, you could add secure memos here and just certain details. Like for example, testing note here. Let's go ahead and click on add here. Okay, now I have a secure note. Now in this case, you should be able to see those uh, specific details about that specific note. Which is something really cool. 
also have the sharing center here if you want to share items to different people so in this case you could go ahead and just enter uh certain item names here since we add facebook here so we have our credentials i want to share here as well as the uh, full rights or uh, limited rights just hit and continue and you should be able to enter the email or the experience that that will that you'll be you'll be able to give access to now in this case how do we start using it on uh, our browser here so the great thing about uh chrome here is since we installed a sticky password manager here you'll be able to also use it in your uh web uh web browser now we are now in facebook.com here so as you can see we now have a logo for sticky password so whenever you click on that logo you have the option to log in as so you have two options the following uh uh, following details that we actually save on Sticky Password. So if you want to add a new login, edit account, or even use the OP open Sticky Password option. Now, the great thing about this one is you can just basically start using it immediately. Just choose your account here. And from here, you should be able to log in into your account. So using the app itself is actually pretty easy and really, really fast. So those are the beginner things that you need to know here to start using a Sticky uh, Password. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.